after some brilliant performances in the opening night of the Winter Racing Festival, well, the stage was set for the very best in the business to strut their stuff at Shelburne Park on Friday night in the second night of the Rossi O'Connorin Winter Racing Festival. From start to finish, the action was top class. There were sensational displays, and again, it was breathtaking stuff from start to finish. The hair coming up behind traps. And we're off and a good start by five points. Now Pilates. There goes three. Galloping Sydney up the middle. And Galloping Sydney will lead comfortably on the bend. From in second, five points. Now Pilates and one. Stream of Sydney. But up front and it is three. Galloping Sydney. Stream of Sydney will stay on well. Five points. Now Pilates on their outside. But it is three. Galloping Sydney. But here comes Stream of Sydney closing the gap. Forced to check slightly. It's three. Galloping Sydney. Stream of Sydney coming at him though. The two Sydneys. Sydney in front. Sydney coming at him. To the line. It's tight. Galloping Sydney on the near side, Stream of Sydney on the far side, 28-42, cracking start to the evening's proceedings. It's over to the judge, maybe just Galloping Sydney. Graham Holland got to the front early and really dug in to contain Stream of Sydney. Winner of the opening race here tonight, 2,000 euro richer. And welcome to Shelburne Park, open 525, going to Galloping Sydney. Queen in one, Solid Serene, Global Prima, Cornetto, four, Buckles Melody, and six, Millridge Dolly. Hair up behind boxes. Racing, good start by Trap 4, Cornetto, one up the inside, Lily White Queen, but it is Cornetto who leads on the opening corner, and that could be the winning move. She leads into the back straight, from in second, six, Millridge Dolly, then comes one, Lily White Queen, but Cornetto leads into that third bend from six, Millridge Dolly, a gap to one, Lily White Queen, three, Global Prima, and Buck goes Melody, but up front, and it is Cornetto, this strong running daughter of Law Hill Blake, leads off the final turn, only one, Cornetto, second is six, Millridge Dolly, Five is third, Bocco's Melody. It looked like it was fast. It certainly is. 28-26. Well done to Cheryl Sutcliffe and Pat Gilfoyle. A potent combination. A big congratulations to all involved. A tremendous win there from Cornetto. This lady really had her rivals licked from the early stages. Excuse the pun. Hair up behind traps, racing, good start by trap six on the outside. Rocks home Duke leads into the opening turn. One deadly showtime in second spot, trying to challenge for the lead and forcing his way through. Deadly showtime goes on by a length, two in second spot. Six rocks home Duke. Now Tullig Raven is absolutely motoring into the third bend. And Tullig Raven strikes the front from one deadly showtime and six rocks home Duke. But it is Tullig Raven, one deadly showtime trying to come back at him. Tullig Raven, deadly showtime to the line. Tully Raven will score from Deadly Showtime, tight for third. The winning time, 30-12. Tully Raven, a good winner for the Foots in the Door Syndicate and trainer, Pat Buckley. The hair coming up behind traps. Racing, oh, flying start by one. Bogger Hunter leads into the end. From in second, four, Clona Duke. Then comes five, Trinity Junior. But Bogger Hunter moves off the fence and leaves the inside for Clona Duke. Five, Trinity Junior on their heels. Down the far side, Bogger Hunter. Four, now Clona Duke challenging into the third bend. Nip and tuck, Clona Duke on the inside. of Bogger Hunter, Trinity Junior draws closer. What a tussle. It's four, Clona Duke. One, Bogger Hunter. Five, Trinity Junior to the line. Clona Duke is bumped. Gets there, I think. Clona Duke maybe just over Bogger Hunter and five. Trinity Junior, an unbelievable tussle up front. 28-53, another cracker in the Winter Racing Festival. Hair up behind traps. Racing, good start by two. Florence Cake, now one Sunshine Dream, but it's Florence Cake and Sunshine Dream. Five, Savannah Hero arrives on the outside and goes around in front. From in second, two, Florence Cake. Then comes three, Millridge Price, but Savannah Hero is on by three links down the far side. Savannah Hero from Florence Cake and one Sunshine Dream. Three, Millridge Price improves, but up front, it's all about Savannah Hero at this point. Clear into the home straight. Florence Cake, second, three, Millridge Price, and four, Stephens Rock, but Savannah hero a good winner for brenda matthews and kevin boothby this son of tribute sydney and follies view winning in 29 94.
And of course, the trophy being presented to Lisa at the end there. Savannah Hero, tremendous winner for Brendan Matthews, the son of Drupal Sydney Follies View. Greyhound to look forward to. And there is the bell, folks. 850 yards ahead of them. Two laps. A second winning line in one Jack Tavern Bella, two Kumakua, three Ballybock Champ, four Good April, five Magical Poppy, and six Kalara Zoe. Up behind boxes racing, and it is Magical Poppy leads into that opening corner. Now two Kumakua challenging with four Good April, one Jack Tavern Bella in third, but up front and four Good April strikes the front, five Magical Poppy moving second. Then comes two Kumakua, but it's four Good April on her first run over six bends. She's facing a tough test because in behind her Magical Poppy and two good Kumakua Jack Tavern Bella improves so too further back to six Kalara Zoe starting the motor but out front and five Magical Poppy goes to the front but Jack Tavern Bella's on her shoulder on the third bend and it is Jack Tavern Bella from Magical Poppy Jack Tavern Bella strikes the front Kalara Zoe flying in third but up front Jack Tavern Bella here comes Poppy one last time she signs out in great fashion Magical Poppy wins well rallies to beat Jack Tavern Bella back in third with six Kalara Zoe if it is her last race Magical Poppy well done to Pat Gilfoyle and to Donald Gilfoyle no doubt off to the breeding paddocks I hope she throws one as game as herself well, we're here with Donny Gilfoyle a brother of Pat but more importantly the lucky owner of Magical Poppy Donny, what a way to bow out. Yeah, I'm delighted for her now. She hit the crossbar so many times, you know. She won all the big 750 finals here. I think she's done the fastest for a pitch over the 750 here in Ireland, Irish style, like. So we're delighted for her, you know. From the very start, she showed promise. Herself and her, her little sister um, uh, went over to England there with yeah. Mark Wallace. Uh, Blueberry Bullet and she's been top stayer over there as well. She's done very well, so we're delighted for her. So we said we keep her for breeding, so we said we stop, we call it a day now or no, so we're delighted for her. So. She's, like, she's been a great servant to us, you know. Uh, she got to the 750 in Cork final, she got to the Cork and Cullen here final, and um, she's just in the final light, she let us down, so we're delighted. And I were absolutely thrilled, you know. She and and good tonight, night. Trace, she popped out, passing the stand, she was in a perfect position, she hit the front, and then Jack Tavern Bala went by her as if it was game set and match. That's right, we said, here we go again, right there. And then, you know, she rallied again, didn't they? At 50, like I said, she even stayed longer, she even yeah. got 1,000 yards, you know, yeah. so. We we're absolutely delighted to thrill the way she, she powered home again, you know. So, you know, and she, she didn't break that well, huge. She, she pops out like, and you know, so we're just delighted with her now, so to finish up in that note, you know. So, and obviously, she joins good Cody and explosive boy now being retired. Been a great year for Pat, lovely way for you all to bow out 2022. That's right, yeah, yeah, it's a great, it was a great year, you know. We look back at it and you know, when you're busy, you know, kept going, you don't realize what you've done, like, and what you've won, and Pat had a great year in fairness to him, and uh. You know, they're great dogs, they're very hard dogs to replace, like, you know, but we're absolutely delighted, you know, and uh, with her as well, she'll be very hard to replace, but hopefully she'll throw something. I mean, we might cross over with one of them, you never know, so we'll see what happens. You I'd know, say so. the pups could be sold already. <laughs> I'd say a lot of them are our own family, I'd say, alone, I'd say, but look, it's, uh, I know it's fantastic now, so hopefully we'll, her, her pups will be here in the future, please God, you know. Yeah. Cesura, two, Ballymac Run, three, Forest Willow, four, I'll not be back, five, Paradise, Nicky Bell, and six, Rahamofo, the start, all important. Racing, good start by one up the inside. Fabulous Azura, challenged now by five. Paradise Nikki Bell, but it's one for the UK. Fabulous Azura leads into the back straight. She's gone on by three lengths to win second five. Paradise Nikki Bell and Forest Willow. Then comes two, Bally Mac Run, but up front it is Fabulous Azura. Three, Forest Willow closing. Here comes two, Bally Mac Run, charging at the leader, but it is Fabulous Azura staying tight to the fence, and Fabulous Azura will win for Patrick Janssen's. And the UK second is two Ballymac run. Raha Mofo absolutely rocketed home in third. But fabulous Azura has provided the UK with the winner in 28 42. Well, we wanted a UK winner at the Winter Festival. And Patrick Janssen, we've got one so far. That was sensational. Yeah, she's a very special bitch. She loves this time of year. She was lot this time last year, she was very good as well. And um, she, she was with Graham Holland before, and she's been around Shelbourne Park, and she, she likes going to tracks fresh. She loves it. Yeah, she popped out from one like she always does. She led around the first two bends, but they came at her at the third bend. Yeah, they came at her, you know. They, listen, there was a high, high glass field. There wasn't just an, an average open, you know what I mean? So um, 
they were the best bitches in Ireland and in England and um, yeah we, we pulled it off and I'm absolutely over the moon absolutely over the moon and for Dave and I want to thank my daughter Rhea she absolutely adores this bitch she would have come here but she's she's very poorly and um you now she's at run for tonight and with all the drive she couldn't come back now she absolutely adores this bitch yeah well, from all you hear she's doing an okay job in Romford because you've had five winners over there so yeah, far yeah yeah we have six run uh, seven runners so far six winners so we're doing well yeah okay what we what does it mean now for fabulous is we knew how good she was what does this win do for her um for her proving how good she is really you yeah. know i think sometimes you know some some i'm not saying everybody but some english trainers they're scared to come here because you know, and, and, and you have to believe in your own dogs, don't you, sometimes, you know, and I know how good this bitch is, and I know how good Kulubani Shadow is. Listen, it can go all this up with Kulubani Shadow, you don't know, but they are absolutely class animals, and, you know, she's going for the blue ribbon now, this this bitch, and then, you know, she'll probably come in season, and, and Dave will breed from her after that. And she got some roar here tonight. Yeah, she does, <laughs> she does. We had a few quid on her, you know, and we were all happy, so I told Dave as well, so I'll be in a few quid on. Yeah, and you may make plans to come back next year, because it just shows you, if you don't travel, you can't win. You can't win, mate. And, and, and I think, I want to thank you, all of you, and Shelburne Park, for putting this on. This is a proper night of racing, like it used to be at Wimbledon, and everything, and I miss this a lot. I miss this a lot. You don't get this a lot in the UK. And, you know, I, I enjoyed the night as well. Well, you've given us one of the moments of the, the year and one of the cheers of the year because she's very special. She is. She is a very special lady and her brother. They're, they're, they're the right pair. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
Clark moves second for Hello Hammond, forced to check when flying, but up front, and it's Savannah Runat, Pablo Escobar giving all he can in second, but another for the UK, Savannah Runat wins well, second is one Pablo Escobar, and Stories Pee Wee running on strongly, 41-39, that's a massive run tonight from Savannah Runart. Right, well, we've just seen the, the second winner for Team UK, Diane Henry, Savannah Runart, sensational stuff. Yeah, I know, she, she performed brilliantly, you know, it's always a risk coming over here and taking on the, the best stayers in Ireland, and you, you never know how good you, you know what you're running against because you can't really equate them to the English form and so you know we, we've come here blind really but just knowing the bitch is in really good form at home and she's uh, she's done great over in the UK so I thought well why not and uh, it's great you you've accepted her tonight and it's brilliant that she's got the victory. When did you decide that you, you might travel? Um, I. Uh, probably the week before I thought yeah. let's, let's just enter and, and just give her a crack why not finish the year um, possibly on a high which she has she's, 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 she's done great and um, uh, she's obviously had a few runs around here she you know she, she, she knows the track but I just thought she's, she seems to be showing a bit more early um, over in the UK and I thought well you know if she can lead tonight then she'll um, go a long way yeah because you knew she'd stayed because she'd won over 750 before yeah, she's uh, she's won a few 750s, I think, uh, Limerick, um, from Mel, and, you know, she's got good form over in here. Um, I'd like to keep her, at, you know, this distance would be a top end of her, her stamina levels, but yeah, she's, uh, well, it was all about her leading tonight, And but the travel today, we left at eight this morning, yeah. you never know how it's going to affect them. First time uh, bringing her over here, but, she, you know, she, she, she's done wonders, I'm so delighted. and. It's a shame the owner couldn't make it tonight because he's had two winners tonight on a night like this, which is just brilliant. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, it's just such a, sh uh, a shame because he would have loved it tonight. 41-39 on a, on a cold winter's night. Brilliant. Is she as good as, because you've had a lot of good stairs, is she up there with, with the best you've trained? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, she, 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 she's up there with the best six pen dogs. Yeah, yeah, she's, um, yeah. And at her age, you know, she's coming up to four years old, you know, so, you know, she's, uh, yeah, I, I'm just delighted. and. Yeah. yeah, I was always a bit dubious, you know, coming over, yeah. taking the Irish on and uh, taking the best. And what she's, yeah, she, I'm, 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 I'm over the moon and very privileged to be here tonight and to be accepted. And now do you know, can you, you can do it? Would you come again? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yes, I would. I just need a little break from the travel, you know. But uh, yes, yes, if I had uh, the right dogs, then yes, it's uh, brilliant, brilliant atmosphere, just a brilliant night, and yeah. And thank you for accepting us. Help behind traps. Racing, good start, by one up the inside, the other Colby, now six sign of Goofy, gives chase, then comes five and third, one time only, but up front then it is one, the other Colby that leads from five, moving off, one time only, back in third spot, sign of Goofy, then comes two, Stefan Socks, but the other Colby is clear tonight, he's on by six, seven lengths, two in second spot, five, one time only, and two, Stefan Socks, three improves, Kilgraney Sydney, but all about, the other Colby, his stride shortening, but he wins well in 20. 28, 37, well done to Jennifer O'Donnell. She's won a derby now. She's won a winter racing festival. Open 525. Well, we've just seen the other Kobe win one of the open 525s. Jennifer, this year just gets better and better. It does. Between him and Born Warrior, they're two brothers and they've been a great leisure for us. Kobe's he's exceptionally fast when he gets it right, he really gets it right. We just had kind of a misfortunate year with him. We had to withdraw him from the Kirby semi-finals with an injury and he belly flopped in the first round of the Derby coming out. We're very disappointed because we had him as our main hope and he got injured in the Derby play. But look, his last two runs haven't been spectacular. It's just taken him a couple of runs to come back. But he had his box night. He has to have one. He, he loves the red. If he could get inside the rail, he'd get yeah. inside the rail. But no, he's done us proud, so we can't ask for any more from him. Yeah, we chatted off air last night, and you have so much admiration for this dog. 
I do. He's one of the fastest we've had a lead on in a long, long time at home. He's just, he's so fast but so frustrating because he hadn't been putting it all together when he could have put it together. Um, like the first round of the derby, he just completely, he was 15 lengths last coming out of the tracks and then he's picked up injuries at the wrong time and sicknesses but look he has the engine there and he did it tonight so look please god we'll have a good year next year with him yeah and no doubt the gold cup will be in the equation along with yeah. Royer. the gold cup will probably be the early season aim for the two of them and we'll see then how they are after that what a great way to end 2022 thank you very much Racing, good start by Trap 5, cuts inwards, Bob Slay Dream, the ledger champion, but there goes Mustang Jet on the outside, shoots the corner, traffic in behind, Romeo Magico badly balked, one a second, Callaway pro on, but Mustang Jet was picked up in the ledger final, but he's still clear to the third bend, surely he's on his way to atone for his latest defeat, three, Bally McFinn in second is running on, here comes Bob Slay Dream, but out front, and it's Mustang Jet, wins at the Winter Racing Festival, Bobsleigh Dream back in second. Third is Bally McFinn. That one decided in the opening yards. The winning time 29 68. Mustang Jet, a tremendous winner. We're here with Dolores Root. Dolores, you said we, had a, we should expect a big run and you were fairly spot on. Yeah, I just knew it. I knew that he had to come into unbelievable form. His run in the electric was fantastic, but I knew there was more in the dog. And I knew he could deliver on the big stage and he really proved that tonight. It was a fantastic run. To beat that class of field and in that style, it was just fantastic. A real testament to the dog and his ability. So absolutely over the moon. As you said, he didn't just beat him, he nearly slaughtered him. He did, yeah. He's just tremendous. Um, early pace, pace down the back straight is just unreal. And he loves Shelburne. I knew tonight when he came in, he had really switched on. He'd lit up, he was digging up the sods. And I just knew in my heart and soul that this dog was going to really perform tonight. And the great thing about him is the best surely looks like it's still to come. Yeah, I think he's improving. And, um, you know, I think he's a big future for next year. Um, he's, he's a tremendous dog and really looking forward to it. But like, uh, this is a great thrill to win tonight, uh, just back in the training yeah. ranks. And I've had huge support from a great number of people that have been, you know, back home, have supported me, have believed in me, have helped me. And a big thank you has to be said to a huge support team. I couldn't have done this without all the people that have helped me and they know who they are. So I am absolutely over the moon to have such support and uh, thrilled for everyone because uh, this will this is a big win for the kennel tonight when we're only coming back. So it's well, great. You're, you're back with a bang. You're two from two on the Winter Festival, 100% striker. Nobody else can say that. Roll on 2023. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. We've a very small number of cat and dogs in the kennel but we're building up a nice bit of a team with some young dogs. I'm really looking forward to some of the young race next year. And, uh, you know, we'll go from there and uh, really looking forward to it. So, uh, yeah, couldn't be happier with tonight. Absolutely delighted. Goes Crystal, two Bally Mac Whisper, three Magical Mary, four Two Maker Wild, five Ben's Teddy, six Droopy's Nice One, hair up behind traps. Racing, good start by three in the middle. Magical Mary took an absolute flyer. She's clear into the bend. From in second spot, one. Bocco's Crystal and six droopies. Nice one. But it's Magical Mary leads into the back. One in second. Bocco's Crystal. Ben's Teddy now gives chase. But it's Magical Mary. Look at Ben's Teddy move. He's flying into second. But up front, it's Magical Mary from Ben's Teddy. Droopies Nice one arrives with a rush. But up front, Magical Mary. A tough nut to crack. Don't forget the second winning line. Magical Mary, Ben's Teddy. Magical Mary digging deep gets there. Second is five. Ben's Teddy and back in third. I think it was Jupy's nice one third. The winning time 32 18. Magical Mary signing off the year in some style here at Shelburne Park. Well done to all involved. We've had a magnificent night here for the Winter Racing Festival. Second night. It's been two wonderful evenings here. 26 races in all. 26 wonderful winners. And. Well, bring on 2023.